Sawyer, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your Wake Up Call for Thursday, September 8th, 2011. An Al-Qaeda fringe group is claiming responsibility for a bomb blast in India's capital that has killed at least 11. Only two survivors from the plane crash in Russia carrying a hockey team with half a dozen NHL players on board. One player and one member of the flight crew survived the crash when the plane split in two shortly after takeoff. President Obama will explain how he plans to come up with $300 billion to jumpstart the job in the economy tonight in his speech to Congress. The president's sinking poll numbers were not a big topic during the GOP debate in California last night. Instead, it turned into a battle between presidential wannabes Romney and Perry. Still no motive in the deadly Carson City shooting at an IHOP. However, investigators are trying to figure out where the killer got an illegal AK-47 imported from China. A monstrous hack into Google's compromised the so-called web of trust with phony pages set up on Facebook, Skype, and Twitter just to name a few, all encoded to grab your security information. The crane repairing earthquake damage to the National Cathedral in D.C. toppled, damaging the gift shop to nearby buildings and several parked cars. Lightning forced the crane operator to lower the boom way too fast. Weather disasters this year in the U.S. have cost $35 billion and we're not even through hurricane season yet. Speaking of, Nate is the next tropical storm turned hurricane brewing in the Gulf. Look out. NBC's Andrea Mitchell has breast cancer. She says she caught it in time, though. And Reese Witherspoon was hit by a car while jogging across an unmarked crosswalk in Santa Monica. The 35-year-old actress is recovering at home with minor cuts and bruises. The 84-year-old woman who hit her has been given a ticket. That's your Thursday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.